car. Where? On my bumper. Uh-uh. Yeah, right there. No. You just admitted it. You said you were sorry. You didn't mean to. I said I'm sorry I was riding your you No. I'm pulling over up here. I'm riding home my husband. Okay. Patrolling over by the fairgrounds. <laughs> but he's recording me right now. and I I'm recording you because I told... I let me talk to your husband. So. I don't need oh, permission. Yeah. We're in public. I do like no, your glasses. That's fine. I like your glasses. Come on, Karen, okay. let's just be friends. Huh. Okay, so I don't think he hit your car, lady. Maybe, like, wh why? Like, why are you creating this headache for yourselves, you know? Why would you want somebody to hit your car? Unless he did hit her car, in which case, I mean, like, this guy is very clearly in the wrong right now. But I don't know, guys. I don't see anything on there that says, you hit my car. So that car looks like brand spanking new. Weird. Weird one. Um, I just put non fat milk in there, ma'am. No, I don't taste it. It literally tastes like you put sugar. Like, it tastes like sugar. I know what non fat milk tastes like. I, I can remake it. I come it. here every single day. I come here every single day, and it's always non fat. This I, is not non fat. I can remake it if this you is want. Not Whoa, wow, wow. Okay, she got it at the end, guys. I wish that we would have seen like the aftermath of that. I feel for that girl if she really put non fat in, which I would imagine that she did because she's pretty emphatic about it. And uh, and yeah, that's crazy. But that'll teach you don't mess with a Karen's latte. That's like rule numero uno when we're dealing with Karen's, guys. What is good my friends? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. My name is Nicholas Playlock and I'm gonna be your host today where we're gonna be looking at some entitled Karens who have gone wild. Let's get into it. So what's going on with your truck? It's been hit and we're waiting to see if I can't find a bed for it. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got a busted tail light. Okay. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September what? 16th. So you don't even give a warning? For this. You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 <laughs> for something that is fixable and I can fix it. Right. That's all you want. Go ahead and step out of the car. Why? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? She didn't go wild. Like, she didn't go wild there. Like, she's just trying to get out of a ticket, I guess. And, and I guess, like, honestly, respect for trying to get out of the ticket. But very clearly, lady, you needed to fix your freaking taillight six months ago. You knew that it was broken and you haven't fixed it yet. That's on you. Pay the $80 ticket. Go fix your taillight. Seriously, like, come on. I looked it up in my system, but unfortunately, I'm not coming across any any of Paul Sheldon's books that we have here in the store. Would you like to see if I could order one for you, possibly? Oh, you should have them here. He's very popular. Well, we're probably Paul just Sheldon. What kind of uh, what kind of cockadoodie bookstore is this? <laughs> you don't even know Paul Sheldon. Paul Sheldon. Let me tell you something. I am Paul Sheldon's number one fan. Isn't there anybody here who knows about Paul? Oh, holy moly, man. I just didn't realize how important Paul Sheldon was, guys. I actually do not know who this guy is at all. So if you guys do, please comment in the chat. And let me know Paul Sheldon. Apparently, he's really big in the book community and he's got to be at this place. So, uh, says this Karen. So, that was pretty funny, actually. You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask in my teeth clean. But it's about the safety of all of our Fine, I'll teeth. cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our You skin. can't take my temperature. That's against the law. Alright, well I can't You're not, not an MD. We're not okay. allowed to no, I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the and manager, and this entire company, smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. <laughs> She talked to her attorney before she came here? Like, okay, first off, that's probably a bunch of ridiculousness. She definitely didn't do that. But if she actually did, I think that makes it better. If she actually called her attorney and was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go cause a scene in this dentist's office later. I'm like 90% sure it's gonna happen. Just wanna know like what I can throw out here. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, man. Karen's gone wild. Get 
that's killing people is you. You're laughing, you stupid oh jerk. It's the most I do that you die. Whoa. Because you're not using your head. Yeah. What am I doing come wrong? walking next to you. You don't even care. You don't even look up. You don't it's even it's care. It's look it's at this. Half an hour, yeah. walk down the goddamn tree, street. I'm in the house. I'm you all the time. Talking to this guy's a f I want to know what happened there because like if they're just referring to maybe somebody like walking down the street looking at their phone I can't even imagine how these people would act in an actual big city like in a big city These guys would be mayhem So I mean I guess it's a good thing that they live out in uh, what looks to be a little bit more rural areas But still man like come on just go inside your home Tell me you're caring or tell me you're caring Yes, work, Karen. Let's go. Wow, she was very passionate about that. Uh, this is definitely a Karen gone wild, guys. So you can give me a medium iced coffee. Yes, you can. No, I'm not leaving the line. So give me an iced coffee. You're just making it harder for the people behind me. I don't have a mask today, so can you just give me the coffee? And next time I come, I will wear the stupid mask. Thank you. No, I'm not leaving the line. I've been in here for 10 minutes. You should have said it when I first walked in the door. Okay. You, so you're, you're not going to do my coffee today? Yeah, whatever. You should have said it when I first came in. First off, she needs to be wearing a mask. She should know that. If, however, she was in here and this guy realized that she was in here, still not his responsibility, but I mean, it would have been nice to tell her, like, I'm not gonna serve you today if she was waiting for 10 minutes. However, definitely onus still 100% on her. You need to wear a mask. You should know better and you shouldn't be causing a scene because this guy's just doing his job and saying, hey, procedure is I'm not allowed to serve you because you don't have a mask and you should know that. So, I mean, moral of the story, just Wear a mask. Where is it? Go. <laughs> the is on that. You devil. You devil. You're a devil. You can disconnect all the lines on the account. You know. Did you hear the sounds coming out of that woman? That is not human at all, guys. Whatever that was, it's just like some animalistic, like Satan-esque form just like coming out of her. That was insanity. I can't believe that she made those noises. <laughs> We got a Karen. We got we got a wild Karen here. <laughs> Do you want me to leave or not? You're blocking my word. We're gonna start to leave. All right. Yeah, we found a wild Karen right here. Oh, Karen, Karen in the wild. This is amazing. I know. There's a cop right there if you want to tell them. Huh. Okay, so obviously she's trying to stop them from skateboarding and I mean like I don't know if the area like allows you to skateboard They are kind of like provoking her a little bit So I will say that but still this is just another one of those examples guys like why are you stressing out so much? About these guys doing their thing like just walk on live your life. You'll be so much more relaxed for it Well, there you have it guys that was entitled Karen's gone completely wild Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about these videos, which was the craziest one Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time Oh last one guys. I hope this one's nuts <laughs> <laughs> that was act that's insanity. Why does the parking spot matter? It truly shouldn't. <laughs>